congratulations, Neil. You've beaten Germany 2-1. Um, fantastic result. And your substitutions <laughs> happened pretty quickly and the goals were delivered. It doesn't always work out like that, does it? No, no. I don't know how many substitutions I've made in my coaching career. It'll be into the millions, I'm sure. Uh, but there's never been one or two, in fact, uh, as successful as that. Uh, I mean, to make a substitution and then he kind of scores with his first touch. It, it's uh, Is it luck or... I don't know. It was great anyway. And what about the performance overall? Uh, overall, uh, delighted with them. Uh, the first half was quite cagey. Uh, I, I didn't think we did as well as what we possibly could have done. thought we were a little bit respectful of the opposition, truth be known. And we talked at half-time about getting a lot tighter when they had possession of the ball, uh, regaining it a little bit quicker, which we did. And then turning that into some chances, and obviously we did that as well, which was smashing. You rolled the dice a little bit with the substitutions. You also maybe rolled the dice a little bit with Nathan playing him off the striker. How did you see? How did you feel that paid off? Well, uh, yeah, we rolled the dice, uh, and we kind of got lucky this evening in a way. But but Nathan has been really impressive uh, in training for the last few days, and we just thought that we would give him the role just behind the lone striker uh, and allow him to do what he does for his club at Tottenham which is obviously a lot of creative things and I think you saw this evening that he can do it on the international stage as well. And it was a strong performance in the middle of the park as well both from the centre halves and the central midfielders. Yeah especially in the second half uh, I, I mean you know we, we shouldn't single out any individuals obviously because the whole team has, has performed so well. Uh, I, th I think the second half they were just so committed as a group of players uh, it, it was kind of an honour to watch them do it, really. And it's the end of the under-18 season now. Um, a new group next year. Do you have high hopes for these these guys when they go on to the next levels? Well, the the point of the under-18 programme is to kind of uh, plug the gap that, that did exist between under-17s and under-19s, uh, which we've started to do, and, and hopefully we, it can evolve further next year as well, uh, because... We, we want to make sure that the players have the best chance of progressing onwards and upwards through the age groups and into England's first team ultimately. So hopefully we've done that this year. And what about Rotherham as a venue for, for tonight's game? Uh, Rotherham has been absolutely magnificent. Uh, I think we had about 10,000 people in, all shouting and screaming for England. Uh, and, and it was really exciting. I know the players uh, are thrilled to bits with the venue and I'm sure we'd love to come back if we were invited.